Hi, I'm Glenn Villard. Hi, I'm John. And we're from Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my blog. On today's episode, I'm just going to show you how we uh, put a solution to some of the problems that we usually encounter on a daily basis. Oh, not really daily basis, but mostly from time to time uh, when we're doing uh, IT jobs. IT works like uh, installing CCTV camera, installing networks, installing telephone lines, and so on. Okay, most of the problems that we encounter is that when we already set up the like right when we already set up the the what do you call this the network infrastructure sometimes the client or my boss will decide to move something into a new location then that's where the problem is gonna happen for example you run a cable an rg45 cable uh, like 50 meters from here and it's inside and you tuck it inside the ducting or conduits, then that's gonna be a problem because you're gonna move the whole thing just to you know just to extend the cable. So what we usually do actually is that we we just cut the what well, sorry we cut the end of the cable and we usually extend it by using a jack here. Go okay, so. The good thing with this jack is that it's easy to follow. If you look at this jack here, and if you look at your cable with an RJ45 connector, it usually fits into each other like that. So that's make it easy for you to extend this cable to a new length. Okay, the problem with this thing is that it's exposed. If you look at the connector here, the wires will be exposed unless you put this inside the junction box or the box, the module box that comes with this, then your cable will be safe. But the problem sometimes if, if you're on the doing it on the roof or inside the ceilings, then uh, it's gonna be hard for you to install boxes there for this module so anyway this is also okay so what you do is that you just cut the cable from for example you have a long cable right cut it and terminate an rg45 connector this is the rg45 connector here this plastic here and then crimp an rg45 connector to this crimping it is easy you just need a crimping tool like this and a cutter to cut the wire and strip it on some of our videos I'm going to show you how to um, perform the um, crimping of this RG45 uh, how to do it right because some of the guys that I see who usually carry this thing are not doing it actually in a you know, standard way. So the problem after they do that is that this sometimes comes loose or it just you know, won't work after a few months. So anyway, if you look at the RG45, there are colors in it, right? Color coding. So, mostly the color coding for this is type B. Type B means, you look at this one, this RG45 jack, oh sorry, this jack for RG45 connection is that there are two choices for you to choose from. The A uh, connection and the B connection. Because the A standard is that you just follow the colors. You insert the orange here, the white orange here, the blue, the white blue, and so on. You insert it by stripping off the wire of its um, plastic shield, rubber shield. And then use 
tool, a tool like this to punch, we call this a puncher tool, to punch the wire into the so the way to do this is this you just punch it punch the cable to this and you always put the scissor side outside so you when you punch it it automatically cuts the uh, wire from it so let's try yeah like that it's a bit hard so that's why I'm not a fan of using this when we're extending the cables to a new length. Okay. So what I'm suggesting is the we use this coupler, RJ45 coupler. This is the easiest way to extend the cable from one point to another. So if I were to get the RJ45 cable here, the LAN cable, and connect it here, And then I get another one to here. Bingo, it's so easy, right? Now you have an extended cable. It's so easy. Okay, what happened to the first first thing that we did earlier? When you use this thing to extend your cable, it will look like this. See? So the wires are exposed, but it won't be exposed if you put it in the box, right? But still, this is a good solution too if you don't have this kind of coupler. So if you have this and you have the other end there, you can also just connect it and extend it like that. It's the same uh, <coughs> principle. So the problem now is if, if you're extending from 100 meter, up to 300 meter or 200 meter or greater than that so it's no longer advisable to use an extender like this extender or this extender but I recommend the use of switch hub there so what you do with the switch hub is that you just plug this to the end like the same procedure you just cut your cable again and then terminate it with an RG45 connector and then plug it to your switch hub like that so once it's plugged there you can now extend the network to a new a greater length the good thing with this is that it enhances you know it amplifies the signal so it's better than using this or or this type to extend your cable but I don't recommend because this one is expensive another advantage of using a switch hub is that you can expand your network again to a multiple site right so this is how we actually um, extend our network okay so if you have extended your network you must test them on the other end you need the radio one of you will hold the radio on the other side okay let's just test it right and use a tester to know if your extension I mean the cable that you extended is working properly okay let's plug the other end here and plug the other end to our uh, coupler then this one we connect here and the other end will connect to this so for this demo it's it's close right so you don't need enough. you don't need the radio to verify it but in actual uh, practice you might need a radio or telephone to confirm with each other if the lights are running. So if I switch this tester on, as you can see. So the master indicator and the remote indicator are in sync with each other. So that means this coupler is good. Okay, let's try the other coupler. this coupler here this is a jack RJ45 jack for wall mount uh, network uh, connect GPO and connect it here to our tester voila you can see that 
both of them are also synchronized. Now, if you use a switch hub, then you cannot use this. Because this has to be point to point or direct. What you need to do when you use this thing is you use the other tester or laptop and ping each other like that, right? I mean, it's no longer a direct connection. It's a P2P connection if you do that, but it's no longer a direct connection. So you cannot test it with this. So, yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel. And see you. Thank you.